Are you like gonna take over? What's the deal here? This is not your channel, Louie. Apparently Louie wanted to come in and say hello to you guys. Oh, Zeus. Hello, Louie. Oh, I love you. Hello everyone, we've got some natural lighting happening today. Oh, I don't know what I was gonna say then. Natural lighting happening today, yay. So I am filming a PR unboxing today and giveaway, of course, as always. Thank you guys always for the support. I love all of your messages you always leave on my PR hauls, they're so sweet. So yeah, we're just gonna jump in and get started. I just came back from a very quick New York trip and there's a bunch of pictures behind me. You probably can't even really see them all, but yeah, there's quite a few. Very excited. <laughs> we are going to start with this. So I was sent a gift from Milani. It's a gilded vault. Holy shit, it actually opens up. You have a mirror in here and then it looks like a bunch of eyeshadow palettes going off like this thing here. So the very top one says gilded noir. And then we have rouge, so like a red one. We have a violet, which I'm doing a violet video soon. A gilded jade, oh my gosh, this is gonna be hard to show you. And gilded ember, which is like an orangey one. I'm gonna open up the gilded violet, just have a look. So this is how the palette comes. It's like a little couple package. And then the back, it reminds me of ColourPop a little bit. And then you get a mirror. What are they, are they like highlighters? Yeah, okay, so it's an iron face palette, so you get two highlighter shades and then six, no not six, I can't count, nine eyeshadows. I'm just gonna swatch this highlighter called Seeing Stars. It looks really pretty. It's like a lavender kind of reflective color. Oh my god, that's so cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. It's like a reflective lavender kind of highlighter. It's quite like chunky and glittery but like really fun for a music festival or like a party or something like that. The actual eyeshadow is you get like this violet blue kind of color. It's like a duochrome. You've got a dark purple and a bunch of other shades as well. A really really pale lavender. So that's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys would like to see any tutorials using these cheaper eyeshadow palettes. I'll quickly show you each one. So this this is Gilded Noir. Okay, this one's actually a different palette. This one's all eyeshadows. There's a bunch of like shimmery kind of metallic ones and some mattes as well. Gilded Rouge is another one very similar. This one's got some more like brighter shades and also these like pressed glitter eyeshadows. I'm just gonna like swatch a couple of them. That's how they look. It's pretty fun. I'm just like wiping my fingers on my tray pants. Does anyone else do that? These are my makeup pants, you know? Some really fun colors in there and then a bunch of like more red tone neutrals as well. Let's have a look at the green one. This one has highlighters also. You get like this golden highlighter and also a bronze highlighter. This palette's actually so, so pretty. I really like the look of that one. I love the colors inside. You could definitely do like a neutral look using a couple of those neutral colors or else some really nice like golden or green looks as well. And then the very last one, Gilded Ember. This one's also got highlighters and it's more of like a red tone palette, which is really pretty. I'm gonna put a couple of those in the giveaway for you guys. And then you guys know the drill. I've got this big drawer next to me, which I'm gonna put some makeup that I'm going to use in my next video, which will be a full face first impression using a bunch of these products and just like upcoming videos as well. So if there's anything in this video you would like to see sooner rather than later, just hit me up so I know to like prioritize it. Cause yeah, I've still got heaps of stuff from like the last videos as well. And I still need to do a lip swatch video for Huda Beauty at some stage. My previous lip swatch video, I'll link it below, it was my MAC lip swatch video, so go check it out if you missed it. I might just have this open and just like rearrange this like angle a little. <laughs> this is gonna fall apart any moment now. I've had this tripod for like, I don't know, maybe like three or four years and it's hammered. But it's the best tripod ever, but it's broken. But I can't find anything else like it. They don't sell this one anymore and it's just falling apart and I'm really sad about it because I'm gonna have to get a new one soon. Next up, we have a bunch of foundations by Natasha Denona. I haven't actually heard much about this release. Inside, she sent, I'm assuming every shade, I'm not too sure. So I'll be donating any shades that I don't need for myself. This goes for $45. It's cruelty-free, fragrance-free, talc-free d5 free paraben free and it's made in italy and it says it is a moisturizing anti-aging kind of product it's got vitamin c collagen elastin boosting ingredients to protect and perfect the look and feel of your skin available in 20 neutral shades designed by world-renowned makeup artist natasha denona and it says it's luminous water resistant long wearing even in humidity that actually sounds amazing so i am definitely going to be giving this one a try i'll just like leave it all in the box i guess for now so that when i go to film a video using it i can... is this like reflecting on my it is look 
<laughs> when I go to like film the video, I can just like choose my shade then. I'm excited to try that actually. I really like Natasha Denona products. It's like very expensive, but I pretty much always love it, the stuff, you know? Next up, I have a package here from a Zara Wanted Girl. I don't actually know what this is at all. Sounds like maybe fragrance. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Yep, it is. Okay, so this is a Eau de Parfum. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it, but this is what the box looks like. Have you guys ever heard of this brand? I've never heard of it. Wanted Girl. And ooh, let's actually have a smell of it. Oh, it smells super strong. The bottle looks like this. It looks like a little grenade or something. That's so random. Mm, it smells really really good it reminds me of like Victor and Rolf or something like that like those kind of scents you know the one the bonbon one it reminds me of that very like sweet so if you like a sweet scent you might want to go check that one out you can get this at Farmers, Smith & Coe's, David Jones and Life Pharmacy if you live in New Zealand and it's not too expensive Oh, no, it kind of is. I was looking at the 30 mil price. 30 mil is $90. Okay, yeah, I take that back. 30 mil is like the little one. So if you want a bigger one, it's going to get more expensive than that. Next up, we have something here from Tarte. Ooh. Sephora New Zealand has officially launched Tarte Cosmetics. Bloody love Tarte makeup. You guys know I've been way more into the Tarte Shape Tape. I always say shart. Like every time I try to say Tarte Shape Tape, I'm like shart, shape, shape. Anyway, we have a little makeup bag right here. I also really love like the bronzers by Tarte, blushes, um, the Amazonian Clay Foundation, the Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. What else do I like? I like the little contour kits, the big contour kits, so much stuff. So inside we have some shape tape, Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in light medium beige, which I'm pretty sure like these are some of my colors. This cute brush. I'm going to put some of this stuff in my giveaway for you guys. The Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation in medium sand. Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner so much. It's so good. It's double ended. So you get like a little pencil eyeliner and then you get a liquid on the other end. And that liquid eyeliner is genuinely really good. I've traveled with it quite a bit. I'm going to put that in the giveaway for you guys because I've already got like four of them. <laughs> Gloss. Big Ego Mascara. I almost stared myself in the eye. Big Ego Mascara. Little sponges. Exposed blush. Such a good color. Parquet of Princess Bronzer one of my favorites as well. Oh my god, Mary Kujo, thank goodness. Okay, I've already used up like half of my bottle I'm using at the moment. This is the one I was saying that my cousin used when she was pregnant. I gave her a bottle of it and she put it on her stomach to stop stretch marks. She got like none and she had twins. But yeah, anyways, I love it on my face. It's so nourishing. So I've been using this one like at the moment after I use serum. So now I have a backup. Thank you, Tart. And Sephora, I should say. We've got a like tart lip palette in here. I'm just gonna put that straight in the giveaway if you guys already have that one. Um, and also some moisturizer and a lipstick in the shade Beach Babe, which is so stunning. I love tart lipsticks. I actually have been addicted to the one that has the little turtle on the top. It's such a pretty color. Oh, I already have this shade, so I'll give that to you guys as well. Okay, I just wanna point this out to you guys. I swear the couriers just take the piss out of me. <laughs> they probably watch my videos, they're like, screw that Shannon girl. It's like, Fragile and like literally look at the state of this box. I have to like cover the address. It's like fragile includes glass Look at that. What the heck? By the way giveaway rules are below as always if you want to enter my little giveaway So in here, this is quite a cute little package. It's got like a little like leaf plant <laughs> Leaf plant and the brand new skin food energizing body scrubs amazing So they come in these packets like this we have coffee and cacao and coconut and berry which sounds so delicious And they've also got these exfoliating body wash bars skin food is such a nice brand their body butter is one of my favorite body butters um, and they've got some really nice masks and other skincare. There's a cleansing body wash bar with Manukani lime and avocado oil, mud and honey body wash bar, and an indulgent body wash bar with coffee ground, coffee bean extracts, and shea butter as well. Next up, we have something here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. What is this? Is this like a big makeup bag? Oh my god, I love this. Look, this would fit all of your makeup brushes and stuff in it because it's super extra long. If yes. I'm such a makeup bag junkie. I've got so many of them, but genuinely, like, I just love them so much. And then we also have this little box here. Beautiful packaging. And inside, the Jackie Ina palette. So sorry if I butchered your name. I swear, like, half the time when I'm saying other YouTubers' names, I butcher the pronunciation because of my accent. I'm so excited to try this. I am definitely going to use it in a tutorial. I don't know if it'll be the next video or if I'll do, like, a whole different video on it. The packaging, it feels so amazing. 
it's like reptile like kind of squishy for a decent and then these are the colors I know a lot of people were asking for a tutorial using it on my skin tone this is amazing for deeper skin tones if you do have a darker complexion but I want to see if I can create a look using this like on myself as well the colors look stunning especially the Zam color like look at that it's so pretty I'm gonna swatch it and also trust issues look so Look at those, the pigment is like insane. Can I even, yep, there we go, it's focusing. Beautiful, some really beautiful, like rich, deep, like colorful tones and then some neutrals as well. So that's gonna go in the try it drawer. Is that what I'm calling this, the try it drawer? I don't know, I'm out of coffee and I'm kind of sad about it. Oh, that's cold. And then next up we have something here from Beauty Bay. Shan, I hope you love trying my new palette with Beauty Bay. Can't wait to see your looks, love, Mitchell. <gasps> Ooh, me, myself, and me, 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 Mitchell. So, inside, you guys know I haven't had the best luck with Beauty Bay palettes, although the first one I tried was a very long time ago. I'm so excited to try this one because I know he's going to put out like amazing quality. His looks on Instagram are bomb. So, this is how the palette looks. It's really cool, like such cool, unique packaging. And then it actually opens up into like a book. So, you have, oh, and it comes out too. Okay, I didn't even know that. So a removable mirror, which is actually really handy. And then you have all of these colorful shades, some neutrals, deeper shades. This is like such a nice palette. You've got like a lot of rainbow tones. So I'll be trying that out for you guys ASAP as well. Maybe in my next video. Maybe I'll do a whole video dedicated to it. I don't know. You guys let me know what you want to see. Actually, let me just like swatch a couple. Because like I said, like some of the other um, eyeshadows at Beauty Bay on their like jumbo palette, they just look like super pigmented. But like I said, this guy is like known for his friggin' pigment. Let's try it. I'm gonna swatch just five random shades. Okay, already they feel buttery. That's amazing. Like the pigment is unreal. They feel very soft and buttery, especially the shimmers. So I'm already excited. <laughs> I love like the mirror as well. Like it's like psychedelic. I feel like just like taking off my makeup and restarting now. I just like stuck all these gems on my eyes too because I was just like in the weirdest mood. You know, sometimes when you're just like, you know what, let me do this. You just sit there and like start putting all this crap on your face and you don't even know why. And you're not even going anywhere, but it's just heaps of fun. That's me today. Next up, we have a giant package from Lush, and this is for their Father's Day collection 2019. Do you know what I love about these? Is these are like made out of, I think, like potato starch or something random like that. You can literally put them in water and they dissolve. Like, isn't that the coolest thing? So, inside, ooh, these are gonna go everywhere. We have a couple of these like box sets. Ooh, it smells good in here. Let's open it up. It's like a little present. I'm gonna pretend like I'm a dad right now. The Ruby paper is adorable. Inside this train bath bomb. That's so cute. Oh my god, if you had like a little one as well, like that's so cute for bath time. And this pop, what even is this? Let me actually check. Bubble bar. Oh my god, that's cool. I love that. Oh, that smells really good. And then the bath bomb is called Crazy Train. This next box set is a little bit more like, I don't know, like fancy. It's in a tin reusable like box thing. And inside you get Dear John shower gel, the Dear John coffee shampoo bar, a Dear John bath bomb, and a Dear John par perfume. Perfume, so it's like a whole lot of like manly scented price. This goes for $83.90 in New Zealand. So yeah, that's really cool. And it's vegan as well. I'm probably gonna gift this to somebody. I don't think Hamish will use it because he doesn't have baths ever, 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 but I don't know. I'll give it to one of my friends and see what they think. Next up, we have this long box. So I don't have a clue what's in here or where it's from. Okay, oh life glam. So there's this hello glamour little bag, this massive live glam like tote bag that is massive <laughs> inside the little bag i'm assuming it's makeup brushes yeah a bunch of makeup brushes that look like this oh this one looks really fun jumbo crease brush oh i'd probably use it for highlighter or something like that not really on my eyes and then also some live glam kiss me lipstick colors as well oh my god the packaging though like that is so cute i can't even there we go. So pretty. Next up, we have something here from BH Cosmetics. This is the Tamey to Ibiza. So it looks like a new eyeshadow palette. 35 color eyeshadow palette. And this is how it looks. So it's a little bit less like neon and super bright, you know, like the Take Me To Brazil palettes. It's a little bit more wearable color, I would say. You get some neutrals, some really pretty like you know, shimmery, like, neutral colors that you could just wear any day, and then a bunch of fun colors. Mattes, shimmers, all of it. Some of those look really stunning. Next up is something that was sent to my P.O. box. 
and it's all falling out. This is from Joyi. I hope I pronounced that right. Joyi Hong Kong. Looks like this and then if I can show you this. Do any of you guys live in Hong Kong? Comment down below. I would love to know. I've always wanted to go to Hong Kong. Hi Shannon. I'm one of your fans from Hong Kong. I love your personality and your videos. I hope your brand and YouTube channel will grow larger and larger and congratulations on your engagement. You are made for each other. May your married life be filled with everlasting bliss and love. That's so cute. Along with the parcel, I've sent you some clothing from my own brand. I hope you like it. I hope someday you might come to Hong Kong for fans gathering. May you and who you love stay healthy and happy. Lots of love, Joey. That's so sweet. With lots of love hearts everywhere. First of all, this really cute like over lace kind of top. That's quite cute. It'd be really cute with like a bralette underneath. Next up is this some kind of like dress. I think it's like a little like t-shirt, not t-shirt dress, but like, you know, straight dress. I'm sorry, I don't really know what the style is, but it feels like really nice quality. And this really nice dark green color. Also these shorts, which are actually so cute. I reckon these will be really cute for Bali. Like really nice, like linen kind of thick fabric, but really cute and floaty. And then the final thing is, oh, it's like a little coat. It's like a plaid coat that crosses over in the front. So now we're up to all of these packages up above me. I've gotten rid of all those ones. Oh my gosh, there are so many. <laughs> First off, there is a package here from the Quick Flick team. They said, we hope you absolutely love your Get Lit PR pack. Inside, I've actually seen these on Instagram already. Look how cute that packaging is. These are cruelty free and vegan and they are eyeliner pens, I believe. The ones that, oh my gosh, you just like, stamp the wing on and then you can draw on your eyeliner so if you guys want to see me use them just let me know those look really cool like the colors there's like orange red pink lilac and a blue as well i'm gonna pop these in my drawer of like products to try because i think we could do some really fun colorful looks using those and then we also have the p louise M -M 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 mitchell star of the day it's been on fire so this is the biggest wall you have to climb is the one you build in your mind. Tear down those walls and paint your own future. Take your throne, babe. Let your reign begin. Oh, you're cute. So, this is the inside. I don't even know if I, like, knew about this. Where have I been? Inside. Oh, my God. Is this brush packaging? Oh, my God. Cool. So, you have some brushes in this, like, paintbrush. That's so cool. And then we have a blank canvas. The Acid Rain blank canvas which is like, I think more of a paint product than their normal bases. You know, P. Louise bases, I use them on my eyes. They're like a primer. I think these are more like standalone, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard about this particular product. So you don't have to like set it necessarily, I think. Okay, wait, no, I think I have seen these on the P. Louise Instagram, but maybe, oh my God, there's a hair in it. Maybe I didn't realize it was a collab. So yeah, I think you can just paint these on. I think their paints are the acid rain. So there's a bunch of different colors. I'm gonna put them in my drawer and we'll definitely try them at some stage. This one looks really pretty. Ibiza, look at that. It's like a nice little lilac purple. Or like lavender purple. Once again, this box is amazing as well. How cool is that? Oh my gosh, I'm like cooking in here right now. It's so freaking hot, like the sun shining in. Whew. First of all, we have a little package here from Marinus. And inside, we have the Magnetic Liner Lash Kit. Oh my gosh, should I try this in like a does it work video? I know lots of different brands are doing them. It's like a product where you have your liquid eyeliner, you paint on your liquid eyeliner, it's just like a normal liquid eyeliner, like little <laughs> talk. Um, and then you let it dry, I guess, and then you just stick your lashes to it. So the liner is magnetic, and then the lashes are magnetic, and they stick together. Should I do a does it work video? I feel like that could be kind of fun. I'm really curious to see how it works. To remove them, you literally just like pop it off like are they actually gonna last like in the wind you know when you're like on a bike and your lashes are like fluttering or like you're in an uber and the uber driver has his window down and you're just in the back seat like please don't fly away i feel that in my soul next up we have something here from la girl these are setting sprays oh and a primus oh okay this actually looks like i'm gonna try these in my next video so you need to shake them up because there's like a body spray as well primer spray setting spray then you have these two shimmer sprays for face and body so i guess like a lighter shimmery color and then a dark one which reminds me of the iconic london ones you know the ones they like went viral all over instagram i've actually got them too and i do like them i feel like it's not dissolving look it's like just staying in a little clump down the bottom but just give me a moment <laughs> it's like not mixing properly but let me just try it quickly I'm gonna like spray it on my arm and see if it works. 
feels like hydrating, but I can't see any shimmer. It's definitely not as shimmery as the iconic London one, but then again, like I can't get the friggin' stuff to dissolve. So there's probably not. Oh no, I can definitely see it a little bit. Maybe it would look better like in artificial lighting at nighttime and stuff like that. Next up, we have a package here from Mac Cosmetics. This is the Love Me lipstick. Love it. Love at first swipe. I think this is a new range of lipsticks. There's a bunch of different colors on here. There's plums and violets, reds and nudes. Oh my gosh, they've like individually wrapped them all for me. I just have to show you. That's how they look on the inside. Um, and then I guess they've like themed them with little rhinestones, which is pretty cute. Do you guys want a lip swatch video? I feel like that's the best way to go about this. I know I just did a MAC lip swatch video, but this is like a new range. So all new colors and they're supposed to be like fully pigmented in one swipe. So I'm just going to show you like a few random ones. This is called Coffee and Six. Oh wow. Well, it's like a dark brown one. This one is called Under the Covers, which is like a really nice rosy pinky one. Yeah, let me know if you guys want it. I know like my last lip swatch video got barely any views, but like I still like filming them. This one's really pretty. That one's called French Silk. You know, if, the, if it's going to be helpful for you guys, just let me know. If you guys are not interested in lip swatch videos, just be honest and let me know down below. Like say... Shannon, don't waste your time. I don't want to do it if no one cares, you know? And then this one is called As If I Care. Oh my god, oh snap. But yeah, there's a bunch of different colors. There's like, yeah, heaps more in there. I'm not even going to open them yet. I'm just going to like wait and see what you guys think. Otherwise, if you guys don't really care, I'll probably just go through and like pick out a few to try. Um, and then I'll just like donate the rest, you know, because I don't really need them all. Next up, we have an Ofra Glow Forever Rodeo Versary set. It looks like this. I just realized I'm really hungry. Okay, everything's like moved around <laughs> in the box, but there is a Rodeo Drive Face and Body Mist Radiant Setting Spray. I would love to spray this on my face right now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to save that for a first impression because it reminds me of the look of the Glam Glow Setting Spray, which is my favorite. I don't know if it'll be too much. On Actually, it's got a lot more shimmer look. Oh my god, that looks so cool. It's like lava. But yeah, I'll try that out. I think I've got a discount code for Ofra as well. I'll put it down below for you if I do. And then we have a little mini Rodeo Drive highlighter. Look how cute it is. And a Rodeo Drive lip gloss. And, oh, a primer. Rodeo Drive primer. So that's pretty interesting. It's like a illuminating, you know, primer, duh. Duh. Next up, we have a Huda Beauty package. Inside, I think it's like a Lash Collab Kalana. Is that how I pronounce it? I'm sorry if I butchered it. It looks like this. And inside, dun, 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 we have some lashes. These look really pretty. Wow. Kind of like a crisscross double layered wispy, but also long and straight like underneath. I don't even know how to describe those, but they look really pretty. Very like cat eye kind of style. And then next up is something I bought myself. I saw these on Instagram. I was asking you guys where I could buy some really cute, unique um, earrings from and someone said this brand and I looked it up and I was like in love so you can read if you want to pause this if you're interested you can read about the owner it's a cool story there got a lollipop this pair right here they're all like laser cut styles like real cool look at that I'm obsessed you guys know I love earrings like I just love unique earrings then I got these ones right here that say baby girl on them. Like, how bloody cute. I really want to do, like, a 90s look using those. And then also these ones, girl power. Look how cool they are with these big, giant, like, gemstone love heart, like, you know, top parts. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. So cute, though. Definitely go check out the website. You can just type this into Google and Instagram, House of Dizzy. Next up, we have two packages from Mecca. The first one is a smaller box. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to put this inside. <gasps> Yes! Oh my god, I want to do a first impression on this. Okay, this is the brand new Urban Decay Stay Naked collection. You guys know, okay, do you remember ages ago there was a naked foundation that I loved? Then there was another one I hated because it oxidized like crazy. And now there's this one. Like, I feel like there were really so many friggin' foundations. But anyway, I feel like 50% of the time I love them and then 50% of the time I hate them. So I'm so excited to try this and see if it's a love or a hate relationship. They've sent me the shade 30 warm yellow and 20 neutral neutral. So yeah, I think there's like a ton of different colors and undertones and stuff. And then they've also sent some lip chemistry glassy tints. I wanna open that in a sec. And the Stay Naked Correcting Concealers as well, two of those. What are these? I got sent three of these in different shades. The lip chemistry, look at it, it looks like this be like a I don't want to swatch that I don't think I like that color they all look really intense like really bright colors I don't even know what it is your lips but better custom color changes based on your undertone high gloss finish does not transfer lips feel plump with moisture vegan does not contain animal derived ingredients blah, 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 blah. I'm just gonna swatch this one so this one is in the shade stacked and it's just like a really pale like rosy pinky color but like it says it apparently 
Thanks, Zeus. It apparently changes depending on your own like lip color. I'll have to give it a go in a video and see what it's like. And then the next box is a much bigger box. And inside here we have the Mecca Sugar Queen color. This goes for $42 and it's a limited edition. We have a giant lollipop. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna give that to one of you guys. And then this is what the palette looks like. Inside I'll show it to you. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. So there's a whole lot of like marbled kind of like baked eyeshadows inside. You could use heaps of those as face highlighters and blushes and stuff too. From Sephora, we have got a couple of foundations. I'm definitely going to do a full face first impression, or like a first impression, I guess, foundation first impression on these because I have been dying to try it because I've heard so many amazing things. I just had to zoom in a little bit because the lighting is so bright. That's why I'm squinting right now. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Foundation. So I've got the shade Light Medium 14 and Light Medium 9. Hopefully one of them matches me. I'm so excited to smell this all over my face. Today I'm actually filming a first impression on the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation. So this will be up soon. Keep an eye out for that too. I'm definitely going to do a whole video about it because I've heard amazing things. Things. I've actually got some other Pat McGrath makeup to try as well. So I might do that in the same video. We'll see. Next up, we have another Tarte package right here. Glow so hard, you'll be blinding. Skin Gloss Glass Highlighter, $16. So it's cruelty free and vegan. And it comes in this little pot right here. Oh, there's some sunglasses too from Key. Oh my god, cute. These sunglasses are adorable. Let's try them on. What are these called? The Dragonfly sunglasses, if you're wondering what the style name is called. What do you guys think? Do they suit me? I don't know. Oh my god, my hair. These clips are like falling out. Oh my gosh, don't mind me. Anyway, so this is the Skin Gloss Illuminator and apparently it's supposed to make your skin look wet. Oh my god, it's actually like a wet formula even. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. I wonder if you can use this like on top of powder or if you have to use it before you set your foundation. It actually feels like lip balm. That's so weird. It looks beautiful though. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm kind of excited to try that. Next up is a little Jouer package. This is the Metamorphosis collection. Available September 10th. Face and eye palette and two new shine balms. I do like the shine balms, but I don't find them very hydrating at all. I've got one on my computer. They look like this. They're just like tinted lip balms. They do give a really nice flush of color though. So yeah, I wouldn't like replace my lip balm with them. This one looks nice. I might keep this one. This one is in the shade Monarch. If I show you, see what I mean? Like it's just a nice little tint. I really like that color. And then the Metamorphosis eyeshadow palette. I can actually get it out. Okay, this is how it looks. I'll probably give this to you guys. I just, I don't know. I'm just not really like blown away. Like for me with my collection, it's not very different if you know what I mean. It's like pretty, but for me, I just feel like I've got colors just like that elsewhere. The packaging is so cute though. I love that. Next up, we have another Anastasia Beverly Hills package and inside, what the heck are these? Oh, setting powders. These are loose powders. You guys know I'm like the most fussy person on the entire world with my setting powders. I really like Too Faced setting powders. Um, like loose setting powder, sorry. I don't know, like a lot of brands I'm just like not a fan of. They make me look really dry, they make me look really dusty and ashy looking. Um, so yeah, I'll have to try these. Ow, I almost just bent my friggin' fingernail backwards. Well done, Jan. Foundation by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm excited for this. I'll probably use it in my next video or like in another upcoming first impression video. They have sent me a bunch of different colors here. They look like pretty nice colors for me, so hopefully I'll find a match. This is a luminous foundation though, which is definitely like my jam. Next up, I have some Okana skincare. This is the brown sugar and olive oil body scrub. Oh my god, I've actually been like really looking forward to trying these. And also the Avocado Smash Body Butter. You guys know I love avocado, so I'm excited to try the body moisturizer. Are you like gonna take over? What's the deal here? This is not your channel, Louie. Apparently, Louie wanted to come in and say hello to you guys. Oh, Zeus. Hello, Louie. Oh, I love you. Hi, Zeusie. I don't even know if you can see Zeus. He's a little shorty. Look at him. Apparently, I've got some helpers today. The next package I have here is a fragrance, I'm pretty sure. Paco Raban? Raban? I don't know. I'm not very good with pronouncing words. You guys know this. It looks like we've got a his and hers, perhaps. So this one is called Olympia Legend. The female one, I'm pretty sure, anyway. Sorry about all the shadows and everything. I just don't want to switch my artificial setup right now. Even though I'm literally sweating so badly because I'm sitting directly in the sunlight and it's hot. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. It's very, like, Roman-inspired, I think. Oh my god, that's so good. Let me apply some. That smells so good, you guys. I don't even know what that smells like. It smells like something from Lush, but I can't think what. 
It's so good. It's very rich, very sweet. Let me read you the notes. White aquatic flowers, vanilla salt, um, ginger flower. I don't even know, like vanilla salty plum is how it's described. It is so good. You don't actually understand how good that is. Go smell it. I'm keeping that. I've got so many perfumes, so I'm so fussy with which ones I actually keep in my collection. I do get sent quite a few, but like I don't keep them all because I've just got so many to use already. This one. Mm. The bottle's cute. It's like not my favorite bottle ever, but it's cute-ish. It's not like you know, hideous, so that's nice. <laughs> the smell is so good. Okay, let's smell the men's one now. I've got high expectations. Hamish does not need any more fragrances either, but he's a bit of an addict. So this one is called Invictus Legend, and it looks like a trophy, I guess. Hi, Louie. Are you in the sun? Okay, it just squirts out the front. It smells good. Just smells very manly and clean. Mm, that's good. I'd wear that. <laughs> when I say that, I'm not joking either. Like, I don't give a shit if it says men's... No, you don't want to sniff that. I don't give a shit if it says men's, women's, whatever, like, meh. When we were in New York, I was using Hamish's cologne because I couldn't be bothered finding my perfume because I, like, lost it in my suitcase. I don't care. If it smells good, I'll put it on my body. Next up, we have another lash from Huda Beauty. This is the Lottie Lash, and this is stunning. It's more of a piecey lash with, like, wispy kind of ends. I really like the look of those. Why are you being so nosy, bug? Next up, I have a bunch of ColourPop packages and you guys, I have an affiliate code with ColourPop now, so if you guys want to save money, I'll put my affiliate code down below. I think it's Shan10 or something like that. I don't know. I'll clarify down below. And you can save some money off your purchase. So in here, we have a strawberry shortcake banana split. Our new collection is seriously legit. Strawberry is in season. So there's a whole lot of stuff. This is the pricing. If you want to pause the screen and have a look, otherwise you can head to the website. We have a face bundle with a strawberry face milk, strawberry seed oil, and by the bushel lippy scrub. Strawberry lip scrub sounds really good. Pressed powder blush. Um, I'm going to show you the eyeshadow palette. If you want to have a look at each individual product, of course you can either request me to do a video down below or else um, check out the website and you'll be able to see pictures. Strawberry shake eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, looks like this. It's a whole lot of pinky tones. Really cute. Please hold though. There are many more. Oh my god, that that perfume smells amazing. Kind of reminds me of Snow Fairy a little bit, maybe. Like cotton candy ish, like vanilla -y. Like more vanilla though. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot more ColourPop. So the next stuff here, this is Becky G ColourPop. So there is an ultra glossy lip bundle with three different shades in here. Those colors look stunning. There's like glosses and stuff in there. And then there's also this right here. What is it? Super Shock Pigment Forsim. So you have four Super Shock eyeshadows right here. I haven't used these in so long. I had a collab with ColourPop years ago on my own collection of these eyeshadows. I do really like them. I just like never reach for them anymore. I don't know why. I should really, you know, reach for them. The teal looks amazing. I love that. Really nice, rich, vibrant shades. So those are super cool. Like I said though, there is even more. So next up we have a big old peach collection. Heaps of stuff in here. Oh my goodness. So we've got another lippy bundle. There's so many things, you guys. Once again, if you really want to see everything, then you might just want to like look it up on the website because I can't even show everything. This video would be three hours long. Volumizing mascara and eyeliner. That's pretty cool. I'm putting heaps of this stuff in a giveaway for you guys. Just a tint, um, like lip crayon tint things. Super Shock Shadow Trio and some really beautiful shades. Look at those. I love peachy colors on the eyes. There's also like a gold as well and like a bronze. So this is like the same packaging as the strawberry one, except this one has a whole lot more peach colors. I reckon this one's nicer than the strawberry one because you do get like some really nice wearable shades. And I love peaches on the eyes as well. And that Hungry Ghost color, which is like a pressed glitter, looks so cool. And we have a better than a pot of gold collection as well. We have a whole lot of rainbow face milks. Those are cool. Cream gel liner bundle. Oh my gosh, I love their cream gel liners so heaps of bright colors i'm pretty sure i may already have these if they're the same as the yeah i think they are just the normal like ones i already got jelly match foursome i really like the jelly match eyeshadows as well there's also some super shocks the jelly match ones look like this they're so fun i've actually got a video coming really soon or it might be already be out but it's like a get ready with me a clubbing one well not really clubbing i was just going out for dinner with my friends but we'll pretend like it was a clubbing one i used one of these volumizing mascaras so a whole lot of colorful mascaras I think I showed them in another unboxing 
amazing. And the most exciting part that I'm most excited for anyway, all of the eyeshadows. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use these in my color series. I've still got a couple of like looks I wanted to do, like the pink and like a teal and stuff. So those will come in super handy. I love ColourPop eyeshadows. I think they're so good for the price. Like they're good in general, but like they're also cheap, which is amazing. Next up, I think this was sent to my pure box as well. I have no idea what's inside. Are these the candles I was obsessed with? The natural market NZ Oh my gosh. I think they sent me a whole lot more. Okay. So I got a gift from Revive Lash. I think that was in my last unboxing and I was saying how the candle smells identical to the Peter Alexander candle which is like $80 or something like that. It's so expensive. I think they've sent me a bunch more candles which I'm not complaining because they are so good. You can see the website just there. Make sure you check them out. So this one is French Vanilla, Lavender and Orange. And I'm not usually a massive fan of Lavender but I do like it before bed. Like I have like those roll-ons. Nah, okay that smells so good. You can really smell like the orange. It smells like sugar and oranges. Oh my god, that's good. I love how I just sit here like smelling things as if you guys can smell them too and it's just kind of irrelevant because like, you know. But I'll tell you guys which ones are my favorite in case you do want to like pick some up. Next up we have Frangipani and Coconut. Ooh, that's really good too. If you do like something a little bit more floral, it's like a little bit sweet but a little bit floral as well. It's really nice. I can imagine this in like a spa. Mm, yeah, that's good. It's like almost like fresh laundry except different. <laughs> Next up we have Black Orchid. That one smells very subtle if you don't like a super strong candle. It smells really nice though, like a little bit like musky or something almost. I'm not too sure. And then next up we have Sweet Orange and Chili Pepper. That sounds so good. Oh yeah, that's good. That's really unique. Orange and like peppery as you would expect. Then we have Brandied Pear. I love pear. Like it's one of my favorite scents in candles. Oh yeah. That's amazing. That is so good. Okay, there's a brand at Farmers. I can't remember what it is. I always buy it for people as a gift. Um, it's pairing something. It smells similar to that. Mmm, that's good. I love sweet candles. Like, anything sugary smelling or fruity. And then we have strawberries and champagne. Yeah, that's good too. That's less sweet though. That's once again more like, I don't know, like fresh and kind of more subtle. Thank you so much, Natural Market NZ. Dot com. Delicious. I'm so excited. I'm now on my knees because the light keeps changing and it's like on my face. Like we do have some stuff from the bomb here. Inside it says petals to the metal Vava Vroom cream eyeshadows. Yes, I love cream eyeshadows. I don't use them nearly enough as I should. It looks like they are in little eyeshadow palettes. So they sent me a couple of each, so I'll give one to you guys as well. They're like in little palettes. So I'll have to give that a go. How can I show you this? So here's the first one. This is called Petal to the Metal. Shift into Overdrive. And then the other one is called Shift into Neutral, which is a whole lot more like neutral shades. So yeah. I'm kind of keen to try it just because it's something different. I haven't really seen a cream eyeshadow palette like this before. I'm going to swatch one. I'm going to swatch the shade Shift, which is like a neutral brown. It's a very balmy texture, but look at that pigment. That is no joke. Hold on. I don't even know if it's going to focus with this lighting situation. Look at that. And if I swatch it on my hand, look at that. That's actually really impressive. I thought that'd be really like crap because it's in a palette. I'm like, how is it meant to stay really nice and like creamy, you know? There you go. That's actually really decent pigmentation. So I might try that at some stage as well. Just see how it lasts as well. Like, does it last long or does it just crease? I don't know. I also got some stuff sent to me from The Ordinary. We look forward to hopefully seeing you at our brand new Auckland counter soon. That's so exciting. So they're coming into Auckland somewhere anyway. So I've got sent the Hyaluronic Acid 2% and B5, the Squalane Cleanser. I don't know what that means. It's a makeup remover and cleanser. Supports surface hydration. And then the last thing they sent me is this Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum, which is for surface hydration, fine lines, wrinkles, dynamic lines, and textural irregularities, which I could do with that. I've got a bit of texture on my chin because I get really, really bad congestion and like blackheads and stuff. So I pick at it and then I get all these like textural issues. <sighs> I don't like to admit it, but... That's the truth. And we have something here from Clarins. I actually really like Clarins. I feel like it's one of those brands that's really underrated, like Clarins and Elizabeth Arden and Shiseido. Like, you know, big brands, like they're really famous and successful brands, but like no one on YouTube talks about them. They've sent me like some skincare, eyeliners, blush and highlighter duo in Golden Peach. That sounds really pretty. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, it's like a double-ended little stick. Ever since I tried the Colourpop ones in one of my full face first impressions, 
you know, I've been really enjoying cream products on my face because I do love a dewy finish, as you guys know. And I've just, yeah, gotten right back into creams. I used to use them probably five or six years ago a lot. Kind of stopped. Don't know why. Just didn't use them. And now I'm back into it again. The Lip Comfort Oils. These are amazing. These are the ones that were like one of the first ones I used. And I was talking about these when I was talking about lip oils in my last unboxing. These are so good, you guys. They are some of the best ones I've ever used. And they're tinted. There's like a peppermint one, which is really, really nice. So this one's called Candy. Yes, please. I love those. I am Brow Palette. We've got more lip comfort oils. I'm going to open this. I just thought you have to see it. This one is in the shade Red Berry. I'm going to give this to one of you guys to try. It's not like ridiculously pigmented like the MAC ones or anything. So don't stress out. Like you can just apply a little bit. Intense Color Lip Balm. Like heaps of stuff here. Yeah. I'm gonna give you guys some to try. Pore Blurring Mattifying Primer Blush and Highlighter Duo in that glowy pink. This one might be a better match for me. The other one was a little bit of a dark gold. Oh my god, that's really pretty. It's like a duochrome, like pinky color. I'm gonna put it in my drawer. Maybe we'll try it in a first impression. Next up, something here from Bear PR, which is a PR company here in New Zealand. A lot of the brands they look after are really like environmentally friendly brands, which I love. In here, these are the Glam by Manicure Magnetic Lash. So these are the same as the other brand. Maybe I could do a comparison video and see which ones are better. So these ones are Glam by Manicure and you have the magnetic eyeliner and two different pairs of eyelashes. So yeah, maybe I could do something like that. Do a little like head to head competition. See which one is better or if they're like literally the same thing. If I end up liking these, I'm gonna have to do this with XO Beauty because I love the idea of it. I just can't imagine how it actually works. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's one of those things that sounds really good in theory. Then like actually doing it, making it last. You know, the wind situation, the Uber situation. We have four more packages. The first one is by Elf. Let's open it up. Inside, this is like so random. <laughs> we have a bunch, oh no, half of it's like broken down the bottom. Bunch of eyebrow products. I'm just gonna like leave them in here and down the bottom. Do you guys remember? Like, I'm sorry. Iconic. <laughs> These have got like glue all over them. You guys remember when this used to be my holy grail? Comment below if you remember. I need to know if you're like an OG follower of mine. Because if you're an OG follower of mine, you remember. Next up we have some new things by Revlon. You guys know I was like obsessed with some of the stuff from my last PR unboxing, the Revlon stuff. Like I've been loving the Candid Concealer, I think it's called. And also, I've got the foundation I still need to try actually. Also the like liquid highlighter, I've been using it a ton. So this is a blotted lip color. I might try it in a video. Two of those, the colors look stunning. They look very like K-beauty inspired, don't you reckon? Like the shades. And then also some lip oils as well in like a nude and a pink. So I'm going to save those for a video. I'm just trying to get this done before I literally disappear into like this. That almost went everywhere. From Anastasia Bibbly Hills. And inside we have these liquid lipsticks and a whole various array of corally red tones. They all look very similar but they're all definitely slightly different. <laughs> Inside here we have the Novena collection and also an eye primer. I definitely want to do a video using this palette. This is the biggest palette I've ever seen Anastasia Beverly Hills do. So I'm going to open it up and just show you real quick if you can actually see anything in the sliding. It's a hard top palette. If I can, oh my god how do you open it? Does it open sideways? No? Okay, here we go. Hard palette. It reminds me of Natasha Denona packaging. Even the way the pans look, it's like Natasha Denona style. And those are all the colors. So a lot of purpley shades. Like some really bright neons. Like this neon peach, this neon pink. You've got some dark shades, some shimmers, and heaps of mattes. So the colors are really cool. Definitely unique. Like I haven't seen a palette with this color scheme like in a very well I don't think ever so yeah we'll give it a go I'll create a look what kind of look do you think I should go for like what colors would you like to see me use because I'm definitely going to use it it's like fun for colorful looks it's not really like a neutral palette I definitely think it's something different like you're not going to already have something like this in your collection okay I'm pretty sure this is the last package it's another one from MAC Cosmetics this is the Art of Studio Fix new soft matte foundation stick Ooh, has MAC ever done a foundation stick or is this like a first. I don't know. So inside 
side, they've sent me a bunch of Studio Fix goodies. We have the Studio Fix concealer. I really like this, especially around the eyebrows, because this one doesn't bleed. And then some Studio Fix fluid in NC20 and NC15. NC20 Studio Fix powder, which, thank goodness, because I actually needed some more. I love this. I wear this almost every single day. I'm wearing the shade NC30 today. NC20 is like my most common color though. I only use NC30 when I'm like super fake tan. I'm not even really that fake tan today, but anyway, if you watch my first impression on this foundation, you'll understand. And then two of the soft matte foundation sticks, NC20 and NC15. So those should be perfect. I'll definitely try these, maybe in my next video or in another first impression video. Or if you'd like to see a full in depth video on it, like its own video, you can let me know as well, but otherwise I'll just slip it into like a full face first impression and we'll give it a go. So that is everything guys. Oh my gosh, this lighting though is not ideal. I just love natural lighting so much more. And I feel like it's so good for you, like just the sunlight, you know, like I feel like sometimes me being cooped up in this room with all my artificial lighting, you know, every single day filming videos, like it's good because I can take my time, but at the same time, I just feel like sunlight is so much better for you and just such a mood lifter, do you know what I mean? I'm actually thinking of rearranging my room soon, so if I do, I'll probably do a whole video on it because I'm thinking of moving all of my shelves to behind me so I have like a different background, you know? Like, it'll be same, same, but different because I'd be able to move all of my perfumes and like stuff like that behind me. I thought it'd be something nice to look at. I don't know, but if I do do that, I'll definitely like film it because it'll be a really fun video to like show you like you know, rearranging my beauty room, cleaning it up, and anyways, I will talk to you guys in my next video, which will be a full face of makeup from this video, so get excited. Bye!